Ooh. I would say so. <laughs> Ah, yeah. All right, thank you, mate. Nice to be with you tonight. I would think so. Wow. Didn't expect rain, mate. Didn't uh, expect rain. Yes, it does. Ooh, them walls. Oof. Yeah, just a little bit. I have my friend. Yes, I've ticked. Let me just check mine. Yeah, party audio is on. There we are. Hello everyone on International Paddock. Oh, I... Yes, I am. No, I didn't... Uh, didn't I was such a worried about rain at all. I don't think anybody was. As we see Trump is finally on track after a minute and a half of action. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> full wet. Yeah. They're all on wax, sort of as expected. As we see Minden in the Red Bull. Pastaleo, who won. Oh, sorry. sorry. I was just going to mention that Pastaleo, who won last time out. Um, you did mention um, last week that he, he dropped down at it, and he looks to have done. He's now in the Mercedes. Yeah. Instead of the um, Red Bull. Uh, Red Bull slash Ferrari, and uh, so he's now in uh, what is it, tier, tier two now. Yes. Yeah, tier two. Okay. Yeah, quite fancy uh, Minden in the Red Bull tonight. Hmm. It is quite often that we do see a Red Bull win. <laughs> so just going off the teams, you'd be expecting to be. Used to seeing someone like Minden or Russell, oh, who doesn't usually qualify. True, true. So we probably not going to be stopping until the last week of the race. I've just noticed it. Shaggy and Wallace are both on the Inters. Maybe the rain is slowly starting. Clear up, or are they just going on a gamble? Remember, this is a short qualifying session just because we haven't got enough people to do a full session. The intention is normally to do a 100%. So we do 100% race. We should do 100% fully, but that is not the case. Uh, just because we haven't got enough people and just to save a little bit of time, we're going to just do a short session. Here comes MCL to start a lap. Uh, do you want to do a lap on board? He can do, I'm just noticing that Mindy um, got in the pits. Not the time. Exo's uh, disqualified himself. Yeah, MCL, where we're at, where we're at. There it is. MCL in the pass. T5 driver. Nice, comfortable win for him last night. Took the full sweep, as we say. Fastest lap, eight pole, fastest lap, and the race win. Maximum 33 points. Not really often we get that anymore in ERC, but uh, MCL did it last night. Coming now into a little uh, technical section, shall we say? Going over the bridge. This on the game, I think, is not from the best parts, he goes down now, gets uh, DRS, 7th gear drops to 6th, 5th, 4th, and pedal to the metal, and away he goes, one, one of the fastest parts of the circus, circuits, 
and then into the S section before the final corner. I what sort of time will MCL give us? And it's a 147.4. So there's your benchmark for tonight, gentlemen. A 147.4. So Who's next about... on the agenda, Catsby? Uh, let's have a look in the lead. Uh, it is oh, oh well, let's just uh, come across it. Was that a good choice, having the intermediates? I don't know, but it's just come across it, and he is all over the place. Anyway. Ooh. Here comes Mike Steele around the final couple of corners. All right, yeah. 50.0, that's just over. Yeah, just over two and a half seconds. Of oh, Dave. MCL. Who is next? It looks to be a red car of Frenchy. Yeah, pick Frenchy, making his. Is he? No, it's not his debut. It's no, he hits, he, he hits oh, the wall. Round wow, turn boy. 14. Didn't break hard enough, and that's his qualifying done and dusted. No oh, yes. luck for the Ferrari, unfortunately. And meanwhile, the other Ferrari is on intermediates. Yeah. Uh, he might only touch my back as well. One of the other cars on intermediates oh, is Shaggin. He's coming up for the final couple of corners now. Turn 18 and 90. Rookie's retired, so he could be back as well. Here comes Shaggy. Just wow. under the two minute mark, so it shows that we're wet to the best place to be on. Uh, third goes second. MCL betters his lap marginally. Uh, Jerry goes fifth. Adrenal's Gosh. just started a lap. As has Castileo. Uh, Mick is coming to the final chicane. Mick. Go, Mick. In the Alpine today, coming through turn 16 and 17 onto the purpose built section look. of this circuit. It doesn't look to be a bad time. It's 148.9, puts him in third place. Oh, I never saw Alpine Bird either. In second row. Yeah, Bird goes uh, about a half. Oh, Dorsey Dave coming over now. Any quicker eight for up. Dave. Eight tenths up on his personal best. He's up to his time by three tenths. So he stays yeah. in fourth place. Mike Steele for wow. another lap. Jerry is up by over a second just after a single sector. Ooh. And he hits takes too much throttle through the bridge and crashes into the wall and that's his lap over. Front wing completely yeah. destroyed. Going to need I'm to on set the a adrenal. new one. That'll take a little bit. Adrenal in the Alfa Romeo coming up to the final corner now. Not a bad time this, you know. Not a bad time at all. We've seen him work wonders. He has done in second place, granted still a second and a half behind MCL. Doesn't look like anybody can catch him at this point in time. But Plumblade is going to be hitting the wall at a turn 14 from Tor French. It's the exact same thing. And he didn't mean disqualified. Himself. Going the wrong way. So he's well going to be at the very bottom. That's a 1 4, 1 50. 51 for Wallace, that's not very good. It's intermediates. Try wet, Rick, try wet. Blood Blade goes 8 for the 49 7. And what's interesting is it's going to be a double Red Bull back row. Mm, interesting. I'm on with Red... Ricardo, just uh, yeah. into the final chicane. Going deep Got into the final chicane. Here. Very deep. Keeping it, he can still finish his lap should he want to, which he is doing. I'm just not going to be necessarily good as such, but the intermediates are still starting to work, so it might be that crossover point at this point. As he goes for another lap on the intermediate tyres. 
As Ricky, you were saying, go on the wet. He's improved his time after the first sector by six and a half tenths of a second. Could be gone for a barnstormer here from the Alfa Romeo. Did very well last time in the manager's race here yesterday in the Ferrari. All the ones that he can pull in the Alfa Romeo going around the hairpin. Lost the back end of it there, but. Uh... Yeah, he's 1.72. Yeah, it's purple sector two. So possibly the fastest lap could be in hand. As Bird comes out of the pits for an out lap. We'll stay on with Ricky as he comes through this final chicane. Thought he went a little bit deep, but it's a good run regardless. Around the final of corners here comes Ricky it's 148.7 P4 better than last time so only if the intermediates are uh, clicking in now in fact we put them on George Day put them on first uh, field Jerry and Phil Ricardo but Bird stayed out on the wet a mix bomb fourth uh, in a 148.6 on the wet tyre so you know both tyres seem to be Working yeah, Ricardo relatively well. Time. Just coming around to the final corner now, but he went a bit out of shape there. But still, I think he'll beat his last time, and he does. There's 11, 11, triple one, 1.3 1. seconds upon his personal best. And he cuts that corner and he could go from the black. Six minutes to Look. go here in the short qualifying session, riddled with rain. Different tyres uh, being used, so it's going to be yeah. very interesting to see. While this is up well, after the first sector by four yeah, tenths, we've seen that. squirrely on the brakes into the hairpin, but manages to get it stopped. Unlike Jerry, who had a problem <laughs> earlier in the in the session today. Love you, Jerry. Ground turn 14, pink of 15, and then it's foot to the floor. Down towards the reprofile section, because of course this track is the updated uh, section. Ground the final, final corner. <laughs> Here he comes, improvement goes to second. Still second, Still second off <laughs> MCL's best time, and MCL is on the intermediate. Uh, other drivers on outlaps currently, uh, Pastaleo's on the wet. Everybody else needs to be on the intermediate tyre. Who's just coming through now, McLaren. Back Steel, but it doesn't uh, improve the leak now. Oh, I'll tell you what, um, TM Jerry um, making his debut tonight for uh, the RC. Welcome, Jerry. Welcome, Jerry. We had an incident on your first qualifying lap. That is hopefully not a sign of things to come. Mm -hmm. Does Steve 49.5, P7. We'll stick with Jerry because he was not half a second up on his time after two, after the first sector yeah, so we'll see as well Ste uh, just to go on to when we uh, when we finish with uh, whoever we're on with who we're on with now Casper <laughs> I'm on with Jerry it's purple middle sector for Jerry 1.6 seconds up on his personal best taking almost many liberties with the track limits on exit of turn 14 there's a lot of time I can off there for you to use as he comes up towards the final chicane. Taking it nicely, careful on the throttle because, of course, it is chucking buckets. Here chucking at buckets. Marina Bay. Yes, it is chucking buckets. Here comes Jerry. What pace has he got? He goes oh, nice one up. 148.7. That's a good lap for the McLaren. But here comes the other McLaren. 1.9 seconds up after two sectors. It's going to be interesting to see what, what Gray Wall Wallace can manage. Well, I'm calling, his, I'm calling him Damo. I've changed his name to Damo. You've changed his name to Damo? Yeah. Poor Damo. I know. 
<laughs> anyway, that's a 147.7 for Mike. Goes up to P3. Great uh, lap, Michael. Very good lap for Mike. And MCL, believe it or not, is improving, I believe. Dorsey Dave is one, one second up on his time. Coming around to the final corner. Here comes Dorsey Dave. Times are tumbling. Here he comes, goes second into 147.36. Nice but here comes MCL. Oh, almost a second up after two sectors. More than a second up after the full lap. Going into the 145s. There's on a the adrenal as well. Tires. Adrenal with the 147. There we go. Adrenal goes to second place. Good lap for Adrenal. Uh, where's Shaggy? Shaggy goes second, so that second place is a constant revolving door. As drivers it's are good. coming into the 140 60s, uh, who's good. coming across the line? That is good. Bird, but he's on the wet tyre. I don't think we're going to be expecting much from the South African. He sort of uh, toasted his position on this one. As Jerry. here comes Jerry. 1.6 up after two sectors. Here comes the McLaren. Wobble on the rear end on exit. And we're in the mid 146 for most of the other drivers. And Alpine in the background. That's Mick starting his final lap. And, well, we're going to be Here seeing even Blunt. more positions. Here's Blunt with the 147. Goes from 11th to 5th. Good run for Gary. Next up is Mike Steele. No improvement for him. Especially because he's considering he's invalidated his lap behind him. So Roger is going to be starting on an out lap. Uh, and even Dorsey Dave down the yeah, side. So uh, behind these guys. He's quarter of a second down. I think he's just lifting off for this lap. Yeah, he is. He's got to uh, MCL. We just got all work themselves when the tyres up, so he'll be ready for a fast lap. And the Alpha Romeo of Adrenal is three tenths down. Driver starting their final laps of this session. We've got 38 seconds left to run. And wow, it's a revolving door for second place, but MCL looks pretty cemented for first place at the moment. And Adrenal's down on his time. Is Shaggy always going to fix? Who is coming up next? Shaggy going into the pit, so no further bird. back times from him. Where is Bird? There is Bird. The tent is down on the wet. And he's just trying, and he's got one more lap in him. Should he want to go? There's Wallace, he's on an out lap. Is he going to make Wallace, it? He's... Just. Oh, just. 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 <laughs> there goes <laughs> Jerry. Jerry finishes second place. Uh, I think that's Mick Here's coming up the line. Goes third, yep. 146.7. Good lap for Mick. Uh, I believe Lump that waiting. is Gary coming up. He is in the pits now. Uh, yeah. As we look on uh, with uh, Mike Steele. Three tenths. Yeah, three tenths up, Mike. Nearly four tenths up. Good run so far for the McLaren, Matt. As he comes up towards the final couple of corners. This is his final lap. No 145, but he goes 146. Wow, four P2. puts him on the front row at this point in time. Pro Ricardo's pitted. So he's going to be in 12th place from the start of this race. Dorsey Dave, 1.2 up. That'll put him towards the top. But he's still got the final couple of corners yet to contend. Pushing MCL off of that pole position. He's getting very close. He's he it. is, you know. 145.7, but MCL is improving. MCL. And he is next. And it's a 144.639. But MCL, MCL back on top. Uh, uh, Wallace is... Who's next? Birds with oh, the tap, uh, Not completing his lap. Wallace is up pass. next. Yeah, pass and later, actually. Oh, is it Pastelio? Let's look at Pastelio then. Waiting for the last time out in the Red Bull. What can Pastelio do? It looks to be a good lap. It's a 145-339. The only person that can stop him now is Wallace as he comes up to the line. But he fast enough. MCL secured pole, but where can Wallace go? It's a 146-1. That puts him in fourth place at the moment. That's it. And that is it. So, MCL... With an absolute stunner of a lap at the end, 
goes for the position uh, behind Castile last week's winner. Wow. And just for sentiment sake, let's say, it's 16 seconds a lap slower than last night. So we could be in for a long, long race. Yeah. <laughs> but if, listen, if it's anything like yesterday, I can't wait. I don't care. I don't care. It's going to... I, I, I don't know whether it's going to be full lane throughout the, the race. I don't know. We don't know with this frigging game, do you? But, mm. uh, yeah, there you go. MCL takes your pole with the 144.6. Yes. Seven tenths behind him is Pastaleo from Mercedes, Dorsey Dave, Alpine, Wallace, Alfa Romeo, Steele and Jerry, P5 and 6, both McLarens. Alpine's Good job little for Jerry on debut. Uh, third, yeah. the only person to have not completed a lap on intermediates. He finishes in 11th place. So it was very much just a wrong tyre on time at that point. Um, Shaggy, you'd have thought he'd be a little bit further up now. Well, um, yeah, yeah. Two seconds off the pace of MCL, but there's not many, <gasps> pardon me, that are on his pace. Pardon you. Aye. Uh, I'll just run through the drivers, if you don't mind. And, and then Go for we it. Have got, we have got some Magic Mike facts. <laughs> oh, have we this time? Yeah, so we've got some tonight. Anyway, for Red Bull, T1, Rookie and Minden. Ferrari, Epic Frenchie. Tier 2, Mercedes, Aston Martin. In the Mercedes, we've got Blunt Blade and Pastor Leo. Aston Martin, we've got Shaggy and Exo. In the McLaren, Tier 3, TTM Jerry, who's making his debut tonight for ESC. And M Mike Steele, or Demo. Williams is Pro Ricardo and Bird. Alfa Romeo, Wallace and Adreno. Alpine, Little Mick and Dorsey Dave. And Tier 5, Haas, MCL, who's driving on his own. Uh, yeah, just have, give us a minute and I'll just get the little facts together for you and uh, I'll, we'll find out what time we're going, what time we're going. Absolutely, no worries. 2027. 2027, so we're going in about four years' time. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to mention, track looks pretty dry. Just done it. It's going it to be does. interesting... Because I, I do wonder, would drivers go for a wet setup or a dry setup? Is that going to affect the qualifying and so on and so on? It's going to be interesting yeah. to see how that plays out. Certainly is, mate. Certainly is. Anyway, uh, Magic Mike's facts for Singapore GP. Marina Bay Street Circuit. First GP was in 2008. And uh, that was subsequently the eight. 100th F1 GP since the series started in 1950. Anyway, 62 laps, 4.94 kilometres a lap, which is 306.143 kilometres for the 61 laps. Uh, there's new, it's a new circuit, so there's no lap record. The Marina Bay circuit arrived on the scene in 2008. The street track of the city of Singapore's famous skyline has its spectacular backdrop. The initial circuit plan was by Herman Tilk and refined by KBR Incorporated. Marina Bay Circuit is one of the most physically demanding on the calendar. It's a bumpy street surface coupled with humid conditions, giving the drivers something to think about. Uh, 30 degree plus temperatures plus 70% humidity is what they've got to deal with. Reducing the number of corners from 23 to 19 in 2003. Uh, the physical stress causing drivers to lose as much as three kilograms in body weight. Driver with the most wins at the Singapore GP is Sebastian Vettel with five, with Ferrari, Mercedes and Red Bull all have four wins in the constructors. The original Singapore GP was held at Thompson Road from 1966 to 1973 before returning to the calendar in 2008 at Marina Bay, which was won by Fernando Alonso driving in a Renault. The lights of the track are four times brighter than any other stadium uh, sports stadiums and specially designed to minimise glare to the drivers. There's 1,600 custom-made floodlights, 
which are installed each weekend, uh, each race weekend, and it's, they are all connected by 108,423 metres of cable. That will get you some money at the scrap market. Easily. And that's that it. Would that's get it. You... If you need to add anything to it, Casper, by all means do so. Uh, I mean, there's not really much to add. Um, obviously, the only thing that I would add is, obviously, yes, this track's been remodelled. Uh, because I think there's some renovations going on uh, towards the back end of that circuit, which is why they've got rid of the... Um, what was 16, 17, 18, and 19, uh, right, left, left, right, where you go under the grandstand. That mm. track record, funnily enough, is actually held by Kevin Magnus, as far as I know. Well, I've got it down here as Sebastian Vettel. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll agree to disagree, so we got, who cares? Anyway, do you care? Mm. I don't. Not really. Not really. Um, yeah. And it is, of course. Um... Oh, sorry. No, you're right. You are right. I'm, I'm thinking of most wins, Sebastian Vettel. No, you're <laughs> right. I am sorry, Casper. I only hand up. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry. Sorry. Fine, don't worry. Um... The capital C. Mistakes happen. Don't worry about it. And um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, it is what's called a hybrid circuit. It's sort of... Um, it's half purpose-built half street track. Well, not half half, but uh, there's parts which are both. So from what is turn um, 16, 17, all the way to the exit of turn three, that whole section, including the pit buildings, that's all custom made. Whereas everything else is usually the local streets. Uh, think another example that I can put first one that comes to my head is um storm adelaide yeah because uh, they have that whole i call it a dog leg but it's the whole sticky out section that went through a park <coughs> which right. which they specially added um using what some infrastructure which was, was already there but they added it in they had to specially construct it because they used all the roads uh, everywhere else but yeah, cars yeah. on track. Yeah, they are. I'm just going to go through the cars here. We've got MCL, who's got the pole. Castellano, P2, Mercedes. Today's the Alpine P3. Well, it's Alfa Romeo P4. MCL, McLaren, P5. TTM Jerry, McLaren, P6. Little Mix, Little Mix, Little Mick. <laughs> little <seven>. mix. <laughs> well, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> well, we Siaggy P8 and Aston Martin, followed by Adrenaline from the other Alfa Romeo. Blunt Blade in the Mercedes. Third and Williams with teammate Joe Ricardo in P12. Exo in the other Aston Martin P13. Epic Frenzy P14 in the Ferrari. And we've got Red Bulls, Rookie License, and Minden Bean. Worth noting tyre strategy. Just looking at uh, that now. Compared to yesterday, it's completely different. Yeah, certainly For is. Yesterday, most people were starting up a hard tyre. There were a couple on the mediums. Today, the considerable majority are on mediums, other than Castellio in second, Adrenaline in ninth, and Rookie in 15th. The game's even predicting a three stop. Yeah. Uh, in some cases, none of the drivers do have to use two different uh, tyre compounds. Doesn't yeah, really last matter night, which ones. Yeah. Sorry, sorry Castellio, last night we saw that the, uh, the sauce didn't really hold for much longer than 10 laps, did we? Uh, yeah, I'm, I wouldn't have expected them to last much longer than eight laps on a half distance. So here, probably not much longer than like 13, 14 laps. Yeah, I'll go with that, mate. So we're going to be seeing possibly a lot of pit stops. Quick add to the drama, Casper. Gives us... Uh... Those are pictures. 
by the drivers are lining up on the grid. We're just waiting for the final couple to come into their grid slots. Are you all ready? We hope you are as we get ready to go here at Singapore. If you like to come on two, three, four and five. Let's go racing here at Singapore. It's a good Boom. start for MCL on pole position. Pasteleo's had a decent start as well. McLaren's are trying to make moves, but it is uh, still one, two, three, and four. Same oh. as on the start. Jay's the man, position. Why. Oh, the Jay's the why. Jay's in a position on steel, and he's already trying to push. Wally's fourth place. Grab the outside to turn five. Brilliant move. But the rookie, and they're still side by side. Mike Steele possibly make a move uh, with his teammates and assistants. They head through turn six, heading into turn seven. Wallace trying to regain the position. And it is still MC at Pasolelli, Dorsey Dave, and now it's Jerry in fourth place. Brilliant start for the rookie. Yeah, Pro Ricardo, I think, he's had a moment as well. Third gets back past Epic Frenchy. Yeah, Pro Ricardo's a little bit down from the rest of the pack. Back up with the strategy, soft, 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 medium, medium, soft, soft. So back with the bat lane, mid pack. Oh, yesterday, because then smells already pulling away. Ooh, contact with French Kim Brown. I thought Brown was going to go for it on adrenaline into the head, and that would have been a brave move considering how technical that section is. They head in through turn 14 on the first lap of 61 here at Marina Bay to be well I can't wait to get his this compared to yesterday this is gonna be good yeah I like him TTM Jerry made a cracking uh, start to his ERC debut and I think it's just gonna get and he's making a move on Dorsey Dave already Dave. on the podium after the start of the second lap yes. we finally got a contender for MCL I wouldn't I wonder, I'd like to see him catch up and see what uh, what goes I on. I would love to see that. I would absolutely love to see that. Don't get me wrong, Adrian, I love you. But you've won too many races this season. I've already pulled out a little bit of a gap on Dusty Dave. Can he make a retaliatory move into turn seven? Not quite able to do so. Head around mm -hmm. turn eight. Seeing of controversy last night with Scar. Ooh. It was a great move from Scott last night. It certainly was. Unfortunately, it didn't pay off for him. But uh, acts off to him for, for the attempt. It was, it was some good to move. I thought that Reynolds was going to go for it on the inside of the Singapore sling on Little Nick. But yeah, Bird is going to try uh, it's still almost side by side. Because they head round the hairpin. And the short back straight into the 14. And now it's the last down to turn six this remodeled section. It's no bus stop chicane at all. But he's got to the floor. Where did he catch the bus from now then? It's up. Right. The only sort of bus stop chicane that we have. <laughs> Wallace is trying to arm the ghost of Dave, and we've also got adrenaline looking Nick close, and then Shaggy and Exo quite close to, to Aston Martins. Minden's up to P12 from P15. Somebody's yes. barking at me again. Don't start like the last is night. now enabled, so could we see the one who to make it on Dawson Dave? Not quite, it was further down the field doesn't look to be happening other than the Aston Martins so. trading positions at the brilliant battle here yesterday. We had a brilliant battle all over the place yesterday. Yeah. We did, we did. It was a good race mate. It was with a neutral, it was a good race. Cracker of a race yesterday. And we've gone with Minden side back of the field. Let's have a look at your biggest movers as well. Uh, Jerry me on day Frenchy and also both up four. Uh, Pro Cardo's down four. Shaggy's down five. That is a big surprise. Yeah, he went uh, wide in the uh, second turn. Oh, Sorry, just even one went wide. Yeah. And then 
third is also a Steals all over the back of Wallace. First battle on track and one apart from the Adrenal and Little Nick. I'll keep my hand both of these. Steel versus Wallace, we've, said, we've seen this rivalry unfold many times. Let's see if we can add another page to the storyline of their battles. Well, been put. happening on the track. Quite poetic, that was me. Very nice. That's what I was saying, he might, he's looking to attack, he's also got some defense from Little Mick as we go on board with Galpy. Here's Wallace, pass goes to Dave. All oh, contact between Dave and Wallace. Maybe a little bit early on the turn, and I think there was one there with Bird as well. They head no, into turn eight, the Bird had lost to position outside uh, uh, fighting for four positions, but contact between um, Wallace and Nick. That is, well, that is going to get Wallace all fired up at the moment. I think he will. Especially Cheers. considering it last night. Yeah. I think he tried to, yeah, he's losing the position to Frenchie through the hairpin. Then he's not damaged or anything. As they both have the GRS of the head down the short back straight into turn 14. Frenchie will take. It's a, it's a good start for Frenchie. Uh, Adrenal's just got past Little Mick. Five by five into turn 16. They're going too wide through that chicane. That's pretty difficult to do. It's relatively tight through there. Mick keeps the position. They head round turn 18 and 19. Start off by of 61. And he come back on Little Mick. Not particularly able to do so. So Mick keeps fifth place. I think Wallace has uh, received some damage there, it's for doing a bit. Looks to be, uh, yeah. A little nick and uh, steel quite close with the Glenn and Dawson Dave, Epic Frenchy in close proximity. And then there's another good little battle, Wallace, Lumpley, Bird, Minden are quite close too. I thought Mick was going to go into turn seven sided. Uh, to save his car and not go for it, it would have been a big old dive bomb, I reckon. Head around turn 10 for the fifth time of asking in this race. Worth noting that Jerry, in a tier 3 car, is keeping on pace with Castellan. Yeah, definitely. On, on debut, mind you, as well. He's within round, round about two seconds uh, behind Castellan. Uh, he, he did take a little bit of Mick on the Discord earlier today, saying that he had Discord. He, he had to sandbag his uh, trial race, so <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, and he's hoping for an easy here. opportunity for a win. I reckon. Mm. Looks to be five and a half, six seconds to catch up on MCL for that anyway, but uh, good luck to him. Good luck to him. Reynolds get a three second time penalty, penalty for track limits. I'm not sure if that's Mick lagging or if that's just me. They head through turn five on board with Mick. They head down Raffles Boulevard. Through turn six, he's getting closer. Again, he doesn't go for it. He's saving a little bit of fuel there. A little bit of lift just going through there. Actually, have a look if there's anybody who has underfueled. Uh, right, Jerry's. Sorry. Yeah, Jerry's got a yellow light. Uh, so has Dave. Uh, and that's it. We've only got two guys who have got the front end. Good. Uh, all in the back of the end. He's all in the back of the end. And uh, everything's quite close from Pete. D6 down, really. Quite close. Yeah. Oh, D4 down, really. D4 down, yeah. I'm just I'm Ooh, move to for third. Bird down the yeah. inside of Gary, causing him to go the long way around turn 14. That will give him the inside to think of 50 as they go foot to the floor. Heading up towards 16, who's going to be able to keep first on the brakes? Bird's got ahead of him well before the corner. 
not giving Gary an opportunity to retaliate, so Bird up into 10th place. And the closest is closer to the next, quite close to Steel, and we got, well, it is close. It, 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 it is close, and that's why we love it. Oh, ah. Nobody's got more than a second of a gap between four and fourteen. Yeah. That's great. What we have to see. You really enjoy to see here at ERC. Little Mick, Steel and Adrenal. Right here, wait. Ooh, Sort of broken away. The caps between uh, Dave and French is just over a second. They look yeah, just broken in there. Yeah, just a little broken away a little bit. Uh, for fourth to seventh, they're breaking away by about a second from the Ferrari. Some shaggy continuing there. A little bit of a battle left the marking. Past from X all the DRS. No, so he makes it to a bend beforehand. And here comes Bindon Bean on the outside of Blunt Blade. That's the inside for turn 16. He's got the move done. Bird's also getting very close to Wall. He's trying to make a move down this DRS straight lap 8 of 61 on board with yeah. Bird heading into turn 1. Can he make a move? Not quite. Well, he's also got DRS. Uh, it's rookie and Pro Card of straight places. That's Pro Card of Pits. That's probably why they trade places. Just going to see what Pro Card is doing. Side by side with Mick and oh. Steel. Mick taking the outside line around turn seven. And it's making it work. Brilliant move for the Alpine round turn seven. Yeah, Mick Dremel is up to, to fourth place. Dremel had to slam his brakes on as well there, but uh, Phil Carr has put new um, wing and hard tyres. So he's going for a little bit longer and they head through turn 11. Round turn 12 and into the hairpin. Yeah, Get yourself as far to the close. right side of the track as you can. A bit deep. And Dor still catches up to Adrenal. I think Adrenal's had a moment through the hairpin and he lost the Yeah, he lost the back end. The time. Yeah, yeah that explains it. That would yeah. explain it. It was quite close to steel. Just still got a better drive out, and you seem to have lost the back end. I was on board when it happened. Yeah, he's uh, unfortunately lost his chance there for, to take steel. To uh, Epic French is in the track from Wallace for P6, 7. French, he goes defensive, but he doesn't necessarily need to. He's the head in to turn one for the ninth time masking here in this race. I think it's called as Nick well. Oh, the whole midfield's close. Yeah, it is. Six and a half seconds of the gap between MCL and P2 Pastaleo. But again, Jerry kept that gap between himself and Pastaleo around about two seconds. It's sort of been wavering between 1.8 and 2.3. Yeah, well, she's attacking Frenchy, but has to defend the movements from Bird behind. We've got Minden, Blunt Blade, Exalt. He's pulled the set and a half on Shadow. Not a particularly good position for Wallace to be in to have to attack and defend. Very hard for men to multitask. Certainly is. Lots a bit of ground to Frenchy Bird. Same. Gets very, very close. As yeah, he comes Bird doesn't look to have DRS. I think he does though as they head into turn 14, Bird goes up the inside. Brilliant move for Bird, move for Wallace. Opportunity for Minden to get up into the top 10. As Wallace goes side by side with Murderhead and Bird heading into turn 16. And he's just giving the position 
try and keep the fight. There's still 50 laps to go in this race. If one more runs through that chicane, you wouldn't want to have to do that with a lower down. Dave and Adrenal side by and side. You need to. Obviously, Dave needs to move. of 61 MCL by seven and a half seconds is very far in the lead. I don't think we can really put him further down. Lovely move there from Minden. Oh, he's Lovely move. Minden up to 10th place. Remember, yeah, this is realistic performance. So yeah, well, he's going to be hoping to push towards the top end. Yeah, Wallace well, must have picked up one of the floor damage or something from that collision they had with their teammate Adrenaline. So it dropped down four or five positions. So anyway, back up to as the, the uh, front the seven are now bit of a gap between them, aren't they? But we, we, the most battles now are from P8 downwards now. I was about to say there's gap there's gaps from the, the top seven, but there isn't one between seven and eight. It's half a second between Adrenaline Frenches, they head through turn 14 and 15. Down Raffles Avenue, headed into the uh, chicane towards the end of the lap. The the circuit has provided many more opportunities for overtakes, especially because mm. turn 16 is much more of a hard break in zone compared to what it was before. Sure, yes. Not even mentioning the effect of dirty air. Lyndon okay. Bean, pressure on Bird, P9. He really is puzzling that Red Bull up the grid. He got on board with Minden, hoping that DRS uh, is going to be working very well. He's close to get on this chunk, but not quite nearly enough. Frenchy goes a little bit deep into turn seven. Taking a bit too much curb round turn nine in the head. Out Andrews Road into the city for the A little bit too fast on the corner to be able to be moved into there. Round the hairpin they go. We've got six cars in a single shot on the wow. helicopter. I love it. Yeah. I love that helicopter shot, Casper. Really good on it. It's just on water. Yep, definitely. It genuinely is a shame that we can only flip between onboard and offboard. I know, I know. I'd love to have a bit more camera control. Maybe for F124. I'll mention it at the board meeting. Please, uh, please do. If you need any problems, take it your ring. I'll, I'll text you my phone number. We'll go together. We'll go together. Yeah, why not? Why not? I'll, I'll let, you, let you come down to London. I can find some support people who can be down here because I'll just hold the bar. I'll let you come down to London. I've got, I've got a sleeping bag. You'll be alright. Yeah, I sleep nude. I'll be alright. <laughs> you're definitely getting sleep. Good <laughs> Side by side Bird. with Bird and Frenchy as they head up towards turn seven. Frenchy bending with the inside line. Slight bit of contact there, but that's not There's too Minden. bad. It's falling into the clutches of Minden inside of turn eight. It's still side by side on exit, but French has lost two positions in just as many corners. He certainly has. Everyone's what's hitting. And Wallace looks to uh, put pressure on him as well now. Heading around turn 11 turn 12. And now we've got this new pressure from Blunt. What will Gary Harry. Gary do? Yeah, what can, what can Gary Lineker do? They can do ABC 14, but not quite able to do so. And here comes uh, XL as well. Do Everybody's very trade. close. Yeah. Yes, just uh, dropped Shaggy by over two seconds after him battling a couple of laps away. So, third and Adrenal. And down this 
that finish straight, picks up DRS. So, no. Good enough. Turn one, I don't think. Uh, I think what if our prediction's have... right, sorry, if our prediction's right, the soft should be going off a little bit now. Which they look like they are doing, simply because look at the gap between second and third, it's less than a set, it was about 1.2 yeah. a couple was. of moments ago, it's just gone back oh, to the third, gets past the five. And so does Minden, does he? Yeah, oh, what a movement, that's two spectacular moves from Minden. In two laps, that is a brilliant move. For the and get the inside of Bird to try and get into the top seven. Good race for Minden so far. But uh, like yeah. that Red Bull. Seems, to, seems to, I think everybody likes that Red Bull, let's be honest. Jerry's really closed the gap on Past Leo. Past Leo's soft and Jerry's on mediums. Yeah. We head down to the back straight, heading into turn 16. Is he going to be within DRS range? I don't think he is. No, he's just outside it. Oh, Jerry know. gets a three second oh, time penalty Jerry. for multiple track limit violations, we assume. Just taking a little bit too much curve between 18 and 19. Gary making a move. On French, French losing a position to EXO as well on yeah, the exit wow. of turn 18. Great move by the South African. The French retaliates on the Aston Martin, not quite able to do so. As Bird and Echo and Bird and Minden are swapping yes, yes, side by side, heading into turn Ooh. five. That was tight. That was very tight. Tight enough that Bird's gone off track. Yeah, drop down to P13 from P7. Wow. That is certainly going to be looked at. And then again, there's blood that goes side Lovely by side with Wallace. Wallace. Wallace taking off track. And I think Wallace really does have some sort of damage. I'm not sure what, because Exo is right yeah. on his truck. Yeah, we see that um, thing he's just uh, pitted as well. Adrenal got rid of those softs and put the mediums on. Shaggy's not too far behind this battle as well. And Bird's pretty much back in this one as well. So we've got a nice little battle for eight place between, I believe, that is six different cars. Mm -hmm. from five different manufacturers we're looking on board with Shaggy again passed Frenchy. by Exo. That's a sh Shaggy even. Shaggy, yeah. I wonder if Epic Frenchy's got some damage because he's dropped from um, seven to eight a couple of laps ago. Could very well be, as here comes Bird in the Williams. The Williams known for his straight line speed, but not able to use it here. We will go on the rear end for the Ferrari as they head in towards turn 18 and 19. Bird in the pits. Bird is in the pits, I believe. Must have picked Wallace. up as Exel gets past. Oh, I'm Shaggy get past Exel. And well. oh, so does Frenchie side by side wow. into turn one. Wallace runs a bit wide. Uh, French is taking the outside line of turn two, inside of three. Gets the move still move solidified. And, well, how many corners was that? I think Not that many. was about three or four corners and he's lost three yeah. positions. Yeah, Bird has put the mediums on. Dave ahead of Mike Steele, but Mike Steele getting very close. Tries to retaliate back into turn in 10 but not quite able to do so let's look towards this battle up for second place as well jerry's really closed the gap on wow, those yeah, uh, on the mediums made... compared to past layer soft who must must be in the pit soon with that pace uh yeah, past layer's dropped 13 seconds yeah behind just say, yeah it was nine but now it's 13 yeah past layer's got to pit soon we look on with Jerry, this is a battle for second place on the podium. E is Pasolio nope. going in? No, nope. he isn't. Now that is a surprise on board with Jerry. Can Jerry get him into turn one, lap 16 of 61 here at Singapore? We're only quarter of the way through this race. I'd love to see what we've just had for the rest of it, please. The drivers, if you're listening, heading yes, round <laughs> turn three and turn four. In towards 
turn five down after the boom bar. Probably the best for, the, for an overtake that there is around this track. But Pasley was just able to pull out the gap. Yeah. Must have been a problem for Jerry on traction. Uh, Wallace and Shaggy are pitted as the general puts fastest lap in the 134.7. Let's see what Wallace and Shaggy are doing. Wallace has put fresh mediums on. And Shaggy has put I think softs. Ah. Shaggy's got the softs on. Ooh, in that case. Ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at a multiple stop race as Bird just gets ahead. Pro Ricardo just gets ahead of Wallace after the first after his first pit stop. The rookie is also coming up the pit lane now. He's 14 seconds behind the Alfa Romeo. Looking back yeah, uh, Pastaleo is uh, 14 seconds now the gap between himself and MCO but he has uh, pulled a little bit away from Jerry, not too much but and he's still not pitted. He's still not pitting. This is well, in my opinion, still a surprise. All things considered, as they head around turn one, two, and three, can Jerry get a better run than he had the last time? Doesn't look to be too bad of a run through there. Can he get any close to gaps at just over half a second? He's going to be getting closer. He's actually getting further away. Dorsey Dave. Dave's got a three second time penalty for the track limits violation, we assume. And Reynolds goes for another fastest lap. That's the second in a row. There's Wallace on four six. Ricardo. And the Inter 2016 move oh, is secure. Steel and Battle Minden. between oh, Steel and Minden's off. gone deep. Into Oof, nearly picked looks... up the Mercedes a blunt blade there as well. Exel gets past. I'm not sure what happened to Minden there through turn seven. It must have been some form of contact. Mm. Jerry is under half a second now. Only a matter of time. Oh Bert, pardon, Bert. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'll just knock the coffee back and it's uh, got quite a bit of wind. Ah, lovely. Shouldn't Absolutely it joyous. down a bit now. Blunt is quite close to steel. Gary, oh, and he gets he three second a... time penalty. Oh, wow. As Pastelado finally pits uh, on ah, the start yes, of does. lap 18. Right, let's, let's keep an eye out on that gap, see if Jerry now has got clear air and everything. Close that gap on MCL because we did say we'd like to see them two battling. As we... Blade does get past Steel. Because Pit Steel's in the pits, that's why. <laughs> I was about to mention. <laughs> I was about to mention oh. the exact same fact as we can just see Frenchy getting ahead of Pastileo. So Pastileo's dropped a knife yeah. post his Minden. pit stop. Minden is uh, pressurising the back of XO2 and Bird gets past Steel and Shaggy does too. As he exits the pits. Lap 18 of 61, the gap between MCL and Jerry is about 60 and a half seconds. Uh, it was. Pastaleo and MCL Pastaleo's pitted for fresh set of ties in ninth place. Uh, Nick and Alpine's Dorsey Dave, they're both in the fourth. Good ones for Alpine so far. Uh, yeah. Fifth, sixth, and is Blade Black. So with seven or mid, who we're looking at now, heading into turn 14. I just watched. Um... Steel get past Pro Ricardo and Wallace is eyeing up the move and Pro Ricardo too. Let's look down to the back of the field. Only 16 runners today, but it's still a brilliant race regardless. Where are we looking now? Adrenal on Pastaleo. 
That's Frenchy picks up penalties. There's a lot of penalties for a sprint track. Yeah. I didn't see. Oh. Now that, that gap's uh, getting bigger actually between MCL and Jerry. So Bruno and uh, well. There's going to be changes soon because the top eight have all got to pit yet with 18 lap old mediums. Here it comes uh, side by side with Wallace and Roman Cargo. One going up the inside of turn one, getting that move done. That's a battle for 14. Yeah, Adrenal Place and Epic Frenchy. Oh, there's contact there with Epic Frenchy and Adrenal. Drops yeah. back down a little bit. Yeah, the cars are still going as Exo and Minden continuing their battle. Heading into the hairpin of turn 13, DRS straight down here. They're not quite close enough for a move. Into turn 14. In care past the lane, just saw him in the background. Just looking for the gap between the top two, and it's gone up to 18 seconds. So, yeah, I think at least in this game, MCL's pretty unstoppable. I think. Safely say that. I mean, he had his moments last week, the DNF last week in the 100, but uh, and again on Sunday, but. Different gravies, different gravies. Different gravies. Worth also bearing in mind that in the managers, he has only he's the only person to have won every single race so far in the six races in, with six to go. Aye. Busy weekend for myself doing the contracts this weekend. That's uh, Steve and Wallace inherit uh, another position after French's visit to the pits. Well, your nearest battle on track at the moment is Wallace and Steele. That age-old battle. But, uh, like I say, Steele is the new demo. Wallace, Wallace is getting closer and he's got the move done almost. What Steele fends on the outside of Turn 7, taking as much curve as he physically can. Wallace has to just step out of it, but Wallace takes the outside wow. of Turn 8 and gets the move done. That's a brilliant one. Oh, Wallace picked up some uh, acceleration there after that bend. Yeah, he's going to be in contact with Mike Steele there. I'm going to need you to explain the danger of things. I don't fully comprehend, I'll be honest. Right. Just hope Damon's not listening. Um, uh, I'm going to put this quite. Demo was the ERC crash king, the bumping car maestro of ERC. I, I, do, I do remember that, yes. Um, I saw one I race remember, and that yeah, was it. Remember, yeah, uh, last week, uh, there was a bit of controversy as Pasco gets past Exo, a bit of controversy as uh, Steele took his teammate out, if you can remember. Um, there was also a moment last night, apparently, which I can't really remember, but he's... I'm not saying he's getting a name for himself being a bit of a banging merchant, because I don't think there's many fairer drivers out there than Mike. I think he's a crazy makes a move on Wallace. Take back P12. Um, so I've just uh, said that he was a new game on the big Mike, it, so... I'm carrying on with that trend. Yeah, but the difference between Mike Steele and Damon was Damon was always like three seconds. Pastaleo has taken two in as many corners. He's up to P6 now for just getting past Minden. Reynolds side by side XO. with Exo. Oh, Exo's tyres going. Turn 16. This tyres are Exo's not tires working for Exo. That drive. Isaiah Rolf goes straight pitting on the medium. Is the top five pit. We're going to try to hand it as well as the head into turn one. 
very bright spanking soft city so immediately they seem to be working a treat look at that for a mayo man they head round turn four into the right hander that is turn five kiss the apex had to lift it a little bit did Reynolds. he's got drx can he make the move inside outside what did he do nothing as it turns out heading into yeah, turn seven Oh, I thought he was going to go for it into turn eight. He doesn't go for it. Saves in his front wing. Last play up to P4 now. And look at that gap between him and Jerry. 22 and a half seconds. Blimey. That is. Well, that is. Son Long Minden. Closest is Grand Long Minden. The drone's got to be careful because Exo can easily come in and ruin whatever these guys have got. Both of them have got DRS at this point, contact with the wall. Or a I think Exo's there. got tyre problems, I do, mate, to be honest. That wouldn't surprise me as far as I remember. He is still on the old set of mediums. Looking at the drone heading into turn 16. It's a brave move. Minden goes deep to try and accommodate, but he's not able to do so. This is just wheeling Exo in. Asleo has got a second time penalty for track limits as we look on with the pedal and into turn one and of action in this race. And no move there. Bird gets past Blum. Miss that one. Black like Blum plays pitted side by side heading oh, into yeah. turn <laughs> five with a Drenel. Now Mind is not going to have DRS again, so Adrenal goes up the inside of turn six. Can Mind retaliate? He's trying to defend up the inside of turn seven, but not quite as far alongside as he would have hoped. So he keeps the position. Adrenal is back up in fifth place. Yeah, Axel back in the picture as well. So I was wrong about this tyre situation. Epic French, he gets past Paul Ricardo. I mean, the tie situation is similar for both Minden and Exo. They're both on 22 lap old mediums. Yeah. Compared to Good Reynolds' 9 lap old, Pastelaio's 5 lap old as well. So a couple of the medium ones do seem to be pulling away a little bit. As they head through lap 20, starting lap 24 shortly of. 61. Keeping Exo at bay. As Minden looks like he's coming with pits, as is Exo. They both have, let's see what sort of uh, times they're able to put out through the pit bay. Here they come. Minden's going to go in first because Red Bull. Minden's strapped on a half set of tyres, so he's going for a single stop. Playing the longer game as it turns out. It's starting good for both teams. Exo's put the softs on. So Exo's going for a double stop here in this double distance race. As they go inside of turn one, and the pit exit just leads them just near the apex of the third corner. The closest battle, I think, is between Pro Yuki uh, and Exo. Battle for 14 plays on the grid at this moment in time. Heading into turn 7. Still not quite close enough for a move. And Minden is also very close to these guys. We've also got Steel Wallace and Blunt Wave. Blunt on the fresher softs. Good pressure on Wallace now. Blunt's a little deep, but uh, still gets a good exit. DRS, can you make me move it? Wallace has got DRS on Steel, so. Ooh. Yeah, Gary goes deep. Oh, into we've got a yellow 14. flag. MCL's pitted 
and is on the softer rafters. Can't see where the yellow flag is. Uh, yellow's in sector two. That was around the hairpin. I reckon that was for so Pro Ricardo. Absolutely. Yeah, that was for Pro Ricardo. As McLaren, was MCL has hit I think. Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> just said, just said, MCL's just paid for new socks. And you said, okay. <laughs> I definitely uh, listen to you, Mike. I definitely yeah, do. I know you do. Well, listen, Steele again. Again. Seems to run off our tongues quite a lot, that, uh, that sentence. I don't mind at all because it always and, uh, delivers and pro Ricardo is out. First retiree in pits of this race. Only oh, took 25 laps to get there. Which compared to yesterday, Wallace Ooh. runs deep into Isn't turn it? 10. Opportunity for Bluntblade on the new oh, set of softs. collision there with Bluntblade and Epic Frenchie. Contact between the two uh, drivers heading through turn 12. They don't lose any positions, but they do lose distance, which they yeah. desperately would not have wanted to lose. Yeah, Pastaleo is all over the back a little bit now. There we go. Yep, bang past. Frenchie's gone in deep into the run out at turn 14. And he's gone oh. tired, so it must have been just too much damage for the, for the singular Ferrari in this race. Right. Nick's quite close to past the line, we'll keep an eye on that in the meantime. Exo's also very close to Minda, heading through turn one, two, and three. Oh, hello. Uh, bear with, I've got to deal with a bug in my room, you can take over. No problem, my friend, no problem. I'm on board with uh, Exo as he passes Minden. Fresh softs against fresh hards. Is the quicker option there with uh, Martin. And next on Gunplay than Wallace as MCL records a 133.2. Is your nearest battle on track at the moment. Gary Bluntblade on the back of Wallace. Dorsey Dave getting quite close to Shaggy as well, keeping on that uh, contest as well. We'll go up to that. Dorsey Dave and Shaggy. Dorsey Dave in the Alpine. Alpine. And Shaggy and Aston Martin. As you see, Blunt Blade getting close to Wallace again. No. Straight and Shaggy continue their battle for P7. Blunt Blade has got past Wallace. Miss that. Sorry, Gary. Miss that, mate. Wow, he's on board with the uh, and there comes past Leo on Jerry. And he makes the move on the inside. Nice little move there from Pastaleo. And he's got 13 seconds. The gap between himself and MCL. Let's see the clean air and everything else if he can get within grasp of the Haas driver. Anyway, we've lost two, Epic Frenchie and Pro Ricardo. Retired a few laps ago. And as you see, Dorsey Dave get past Shaggy. Sorry we missed that one. The Alpine has passed the Aston Martin now. And this is the closest battle we have on track, so we'll keep with these. Shaggy puts pressure on Dorsey Dave. Very close, yeah, heading into turn 18 and 19. Thank Exo you very much for that. Up. Yeah, the way Exo's caught up to the back of Wallace too. So, and what sort of bug was it, mate? 
a big one. It was a big one. I think it was a daddy long legs, but I'm not sure. Okay, go. Well, yeah, Pastaleo uh, has moved into P2. Um, and I've just said yeah, there's 14 seconds as a gap between himself and MCL, and that's increased to 14.7. Uh, 14 8. 9. <laughs> so, Ten. yeah. XO and Wallace then take the battle on track at the moment. Back in battle, almost side by Here side he heading into turn 16. Here's XO. Taking the inside, turn 7 even, taking the inside line, behind me. And into turn 8, he's got that move sorted. Can Wallace retaliate? Probably into turn 14. Would be his next best opportunity. Turn 10 is just a little bit too fast from that kind of distance, so turn 14, maybe 16. Right, so uh, it's pulling away a bit, I think, mate. Can't see while it's pulling that back. But we can I see that Blood Blade is catching up to the back of Steel just ahead of these two. DRS working for treats as it usually does. Yeah, and then Soft Tires, I think, is uh, working a treat for Gary. Jerry He's certainly not working for Jerry. Point. He's got another three second time penalty for track limits. Yeah. He's on 28 lap hole mediums as well as look. Mick. Well, they'll be kitting shortly, I expect. In terms of penalties, Pastel is on three, Jerry's on six, uh, Adrenal's on nine, and then Dave, Mike, and Bloodblade are each also on three. In terms of seconds. Of that, uh, both every French and Pro Card have left the session, but they've retired, so it's no big deal. Here side by side, blade on steel. with blunt blade, certainly Not that taking the done down the DRS. Yeah, certainly making these uh, soft tyres in the morning is Gary. As you should made expect. Up. Yeah, he's made up some, some positions since uh, six laps ago when he put this. Uh, Soft on, but uh, say Jerry and Nick still going on their medium 28 laps. Their age at the moment. Are they betting for a medium soft strategy? That's going to be very brave, all things yeah. considered. Yeah, Jerry's still out for another lap. Little Nick, he's still out for another lap. So no plans to change tyres yet for those two. But we've got a nice little battle here with Lunt Steel. XO as Minden Dean gets past Wallace. The battle for 12th place on the road. Andrews Wallace set up for, for wet. Mm, you might possibly. Because uh, for so those who have just joined. It's a bit mm. characteristic that he's uh, down to P13. Yeah. To, he, well, it, yeah. I mean, either he's got some damage, which he's had a couple of ding bombs. It's not impossible. Nope. Or so and steel. Or he has genuinely set up for the wet, which uh, for those of you who've just joined us since the start of the race, we did have a wet qualifying, and yeah, we are having fully dry so far. Race. Adrenal is catching to the back of Little Mick as well. Four. Battle for fourth is raging on. Meanwhile, this battle for tenth is towards the back of the grade. Battle for thirteen. Points we do have. Adrenal. No, think better of it. Let's have a look at that. Into turn sixteen. You're breaking from eighth into from seventh, even eighth gear into well, usually third. DRS here, DRS clips in. Is he quick enough? He has a look, but no. Not quite close enough. Stain's gonna be on there. Lap 31 of 61, we've finally reached halfway in this race. We've still got another Lovely 31 to go. Shaggy is dropping oh, down like a stone, and that's because he's hitting. Mm. 
unlikely to miss that. It's usually me to pick up on pit stops. I was usually pick up on pit stops just a little bit later. Uh, and Shaggy has put the hands on. You see him to the end. Hopefully for, uh, for him. We would see those until the end. That is, of course, uh, until we. I assume we will probably get to save the car or something at some point. As Adrenal now has a little nick in his sights. A little bit closer than he was earlier. The RS. Does it make any difference? It definitely he's the going for yes. it into. And he's oh, run and off he's on the, the corner. exit of. 14, he's going to want to be quick. He's going to get he past gets by fast. Bird as well. Careful for Dave, not too far behind as well. Barry is in the back of the shot. All that hard work is around to get up to there and oh, get that corner. Wow. Good job there was a run off there, else it'd have been the uh, safe carry now. Jerry's coming to the pit off his set of mediums at long last. Is he going medium media? Oh, he's really mad. Ah. Well had. Well had. So just one driver to pit, that's little Mick, he's in P3. I mean we are expecting some drivers to be running two stops. So for yeah. example, uh MCL, Blood Blade, um Exo's probably gonna be running two stops. Uh rookie is most likely going to be running two stops, in fact he kind of has to be. Um, whereas there's other drivers which, you know, side by side with EXO, those soft eyes working for treats for the South African. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Still almost side by side, but we're going to go for it into turn eight. Evidently Just happening with spring box performance in the rugby. <laughs> Definitely. Just go in toilet, got some tissue, it's all over the screen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got on the screen. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Lap 33 of 61. Uh, MCL is still in the lead. 21 and a half seconds is the lead. Jerry getting ahead of Mike Steele, though, I think. That is Mike Steele giving the position to the rookie. Brilliant performance from Jerry so far in his first race here with us at ERC. Uh, yeah, Paslo quite is in, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, Paslo is in second. Little Mix got ahead into third. Adrenal's gone into the pit. Yeah. Nineteen lap old mediums. So he's probably going to be pitting on hard for the end. Yeah, certainly is. Which he has done. Oh, got the line there actually. He's, uh, I thought he's saving the penalty, but now we. I was about line. to say, what, what if he said all the bad? Something happened. Yeah, if he, just, uh, he was there one minute, next minute he disappeared. But <gasps> uh, Jerry is on the back of it, so what's up? I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just playing with you. Uh, Jerry in, getting ahead yeah, of Minion on steel. Past is galore here at Singapore. It certainly is. XO has just succumb to Jerry's pace. And uh, 22 seconds is the gap between, well, 23 shortly, between Past Leo and P1 MCM. It just briefly popped up with 23. You guys head over the Anderson Bridge into the hairpin and then down Esplanade Drive, heading into turn 14. Right, Jerry's next victim as such, because he's been on a charge relatively. Yeah. Uh, is a blunt blade. He's one and a half, one and a quarter seconds up the road. You can just see him heading through the corners now. 18 and 19. You can just see him there. There. Just in the background. Yep. As uh, uh, Wallace. Wallace Pitt. Yep. 
Norris has gone into the pit lane, does the Alfa Romeo, had enough of his 18 lap old mediums. From the right, quite a few of the other drivers. Oh, Sofs. How many stops has he had so far? That's his second. So he's three stopping this shit. I'm not sure that would work. Uh, Jerry now has Blunt in his sights too. Cross wires of his sights are on Blunt's diffuser. Staring down the rear wing of that Mercedes. Here comes Jerry. Here comes Jerry. Very much a rookie, but he's taking no prisoners at this point in time. A car is a car, regardless of who he is, and here comes the McLaren, side by side with the Mercedes. And I don't think there's much Gary can do. He's got the inside line into 16, and that's all he needs to make the move. Gary's back up, Jerry is back up into sixth place. Yes. Very impressed with Jerry, I am. Very impressed. Shaggy's nice got ahead of Rookie as well. Yeah, nice uh, addition to the ARC drivers, Jerry. If he put himself in the pictures for the manager's position, ah, mm. there's a thing. There's a thing. There's a thing. There's a thing. There is a very big thing. Um, because obviously we have had a couple of drivers who sort of tried to put themselves in the fray for a manager's position. As of yet, least, um, I don't. I look like his pit. Um. As long as I don't mention any names, I'm sure I'm okay mentioning this. Uh, but um, there, up to now, there is just one driver that has uh, re signed his previous team. So things are going a little bit slow at the moment. But to uh, these signings and new signings will be happening, I expect, tomorrow or Saturday. And then my pen will be hot. Well, I think laptop computer keys will be. Right, some nice little gaps forming between everybody now. Nobody's close. So I'm just thinking who, who would be would be trying for a manager that isn't already a manager. I know the goose would yeah, be uh, realistically. Andrew, Andrew is, he's uh, desperate to get on. Um, the manager's list. Which, to be fair, he's not doing too. But he's not been doing too badly in the past couple of races. He's oh, had he a good couple of battles. Brilliant. Yeah, he qualified yeah. brilliant. P8 last night was it? P9. Uh, uh, yeah, about that. Three. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's, there's. I know there's a couple of drivers that aren't re-signing, but I haven't seen or heard who they're signing for. But we just had we, we just had one, and it's quite surprising we only had one up yet as we signed. Maybe it's just taking a little bit of time to, yeah. you know, I won't iron out the ring. So. Dorsey Dave is catching up to the back of third. Heading through Alpine, turn Alpine 11 Williams. and 12, this really tight technical section. That, well, I don't know about you, Mike. Sorry, yeah. Matt, uh, Casper. I, I, I don't know about you, but I always struggle to do that from time to time. Yeah, it's, it is. It's a bit of a... You either get it perfect or nine times out of ten. Well, it's, 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 that's me, anyway. Yeah, pretty much the same here. Yeah, so we've got a nice little battle on here for P3. Little Mick, Bird and Dorsey Dave. But and you've got to remember, Little Mick has got to pit yet. And he's not hitting just yet, so... No. But, saying that, he's going to drop Here down. Here comes Bird. Least. Bird moves yeah. the podium, but he's got a little bit deep into that first corner. Maybe taking it, the though. inside line in through turn three. It's still side by side through turn four. And Dawson ah. Dane is getting ahead. I think yeah, that's just bit. team orders coming through. But, move has been made. I quite impressed that move from Bird, actually. I was thinking that, yeah, because he took the outside of three. The little Mick is going to drop down to P13 when he pits. 
but there, but a couple of, there's going to be quite a couple of other drivers that are going to need to pick regardless. Oh yeah, yeah, them soft drivers. So he is going to pop back up the field a little bit. Plus, he tires. Here comes Dorsey Dave in uh, the back of third. We go over the bridge. Jerry's getting very close to the little Mick now as well. The gap's already walking between the field of Dave and Mick. The gap's already between eight, uh, less than eight tenths now. It's four tenths between Jerry and the little Mick as they head yeah, into turn 14. Now. Probably lining up a move into turn 16 on board with Jerry to head down in through 15. Yeah, easy move. Four tyres, yeah. not really much else to do. No. Little much got a pit. Come on, mate. Do yourself a favour. Yep, there yeah, he goes. There he goes. So the last me. man that needed to pit does pit. And Bean is caught up to the back of XO as well. Let's see what Mick does in the pit lane. Here comes Minden. Minden makes Mick is on going XO. on the soft tyre. That is in laps. 14 laps, well, well, Blunt's on 15 lap holds and Nexo's on 14. Dave making the move so, on Yeah, goes Dave on third. And so does Jerry. Yeah. Brilliant move Ooh. from Jerry, taking it round the outside of turn eight. He tries to make it work, but isn't able to do so. It's a good dive bomb from the newbie. But he's not able to make it work. Tries into the Singapore sling. So he stays in fifth place. Dorsey Dave is already getting away by a hefty margin. It's 1.3. Yeah. DRS is going to work wonders here for Jerry on exit. New hard tyres. Tries up the inside of 14. Again, not quite close enough. Can he make a move into 16? We've seen him done it. do it with Gary. And he's got a brilliant drive out of turn 14. Yeah. Through 15. Outside the 15. Gets the move yeah. done well before it's come distance. Yeah, and Adrenal's just past steel. The Alpha Romeo driver makes it easy peasy on Michael there. Bird drops down to P5. And Jerry now, of course, Dave, eyeing up a little move on him to go into P3. And Jerry's already really closed up on Dave. About five, five tenths. It was over a second earlier. Now it is yeah. half a second. Yeah. As Jerry is on a charge, can he make a dive bomb into turn seven? No, that was it. No. No, that was a little too far away there. Only a matter of time, I, I think, Casper. Mm -hmm. Only a matter of time, I think, that this move. Definitely, definitely. I about to say for a brief moment, the tyres didn't look too good. I don't know if you saw that. I did see a brief moment of blistering there. On on, on who? Dorsey Dave? On Jerry. Oh, on Jerry. Seven lap old hearts. Wow. Which is why I'm thinking, I'm not so sure. But. A third attempt in three laps to make a move through into turn 16. Dave's a little bit further away, but he's closing, he's closing, he's closing, and not able to make the move. But again, he's going to be very close to the wall. Minden Bean's close to Bluntly, Gary. Just on board with them for a little second. Keep your arm, TM Jerry for me and Dorsey Dave. Oh, I'll go back up to Dorsey Dave and Jerry, actually, because they're quite very close. I was about Not to say, Minden's enough. got the move on the blood play. And Exo. has gone in the pits. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Again. <laughs> so, yeah, back on board with Tia, T, M, Jerry and also Dave. DRS working with his little mix gone past this lap, but Jerry's gone up the inside of turn six. Got the uh, move done. Well, before he's got seven, and no need to worry about defending, really, because move has been done and dusted well yeah since he got the move done 20 laps now jerry clear air 
gloves to pass through an MCL. But you need to be well pulling out over Bashiagi, a second. Actually. You need to be pulling out A over a second lap to pass the leg. Yeah, and, and the MCL's got a pit as well. And two step pass the leg is going to have to pit as well. I don't think he's yeah. going to pull 40 laps on mediums. No, Jerry's in a good position then, isn't he, really? Mind you, no. Yeah. He's, he's still 27. He'll be 20 odd seconds behind uh, MCL when he pits. He's in a good position for second. Oh, definitely, definitely. Not particularly so for first. However, anything could happen, as we saw yesterday. I don't want to jinx what, it, because I did yesterday. Mm, yeah, well, you forgive him. But, what do you say? I don't, I don't think Master Bear would forgive me for that one, put it that way. No. He was, he, what's his name? He was, um, how can I put it? He's quite mature about his... Uh, race performance last night as uh, Adrenaline gets to pass EXO. EXO was on 17 lap old softs. He's probably going to need to pick maybe even for mediums. What has his EXO used to be a different set of fire though? Well, EXO is a medium soft, so he couldn't pick on a medium and run it medium run it to the end, and that'll be yeah. good. Yeah, he missed uh, Bluntley going in. No, we didn't. So Bluntley going in pits, he's put fresh mediums on. Uh, so I'm trying to say gap a few little gaps appearing and out again, but uh, obviously there's going to be some pit action shortly. I expect and we would expect that to be coming relatively shortly. 20 laps to go here at Marina Bay, and you know, it's been a little bit of a slow burner as Mick gets ahead of Steel into the Singapore Sling. Must have been a poor drive for Steel. Mm, a brilliant move from Mick, nonetheless. The American doing quite well, actually. P9 for little Mick. Little Mick. Little Mick. Right, I mean, this race, yeah, this race today has been a bit of a slow burner overall, but it's still provided a decent chunk of entertainment, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, up until now, I suppose this is a bit of a dead rubber at the moment because uh, there's gaps performing. But I think we've had battles for 99% of the time we've been on air, uh, Casper, really. It's not, been, yeah. it's not been a boring race, has it, really? It's oh, it's oh certainly not, no. No, we put it this way, if this is what we call, you know, a slightly bit more of a meh race, Right? Then God knows what we're going to call brilliant races. Actually, I know. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Silverstone. Exactly. And next time it is into Lagos. Yeah, it's into Lagos. <clears throat> I like that. I like that track. I love that track. My person, as I've stated before, my personal favourite on the F1 calendar. I love it. Yeah, it is good. It is good. Bit of everything. I mean, you, you, it's, Interlogos is just brilliant. I mean, ooh, contact there with Mick and the wall. Um, but yeah. Little Mick or Mick Steele. Interlogos is just brilliant. You said there's contact with all with Mick. Little Mick or Mike Steele? Mick. Mick. Mick, Mick, Mick. The American. Yeah, it's confirmed that uh, me and Mickey are meeting up with Shaggy on Saturday. Do oh, I? Pictures will be in Discord Saturday afternoon. Of Papa I was Wallace about to ask. Pissed Make as a sure bat. To send us pictures, yeah. There's adrenaline now, he's all over the back of Minden, goes down the start to the street. As little Mick gets Exo past Exo, who's pitting. Into the pit lane. Adrenal's hustling Minden. Very well at the moment. Ooh, brilliant run through turn five. And I don't think Minden's going to be able to defend. Yes, he's in a Red Bull, but inside turn seven, ooh, you know what? That Red Bull's still got some drive in there. Certainly has. Mm, I mean, a good little job. I mean, yes, because obviously the passive can't be quick. All things considered, you'd think better tyres would be a much bigger factor. 
in this battle as they head into turn 10. I thought Adrenaline didn't go for it, but not quite able to do so. Heading under the, under the bridge lights. And they're bringing Bird into the picture as well, these two. Through turn 14, turn 16 has been a favoured opportunity for drivers to make the move. But again, I don't think he's just quite close enough. He's getting closer, he considers it. But again, Pastaleo's quite hitting. close enough. Put fresh softs on Pastaleo. So 50 seconds of the gap between Jerry and MCL. I wonder if Jerry's going to be able to more than two seconds of the lap on MCL. I don't think he will side by side with Minda and Adrenal. <coughs> and Adrenal got that move done. No opportunity for Minden to defend. And Adrenal gets sixth place. Yes, he has the penalties, but he has sixth place on track. Mike Steele has also gone into the pits. I'm just going to say now MCL has just lapped Blum Blade P12. Steel pits as you say. And Adrenal is now up in contention with Bird. Having passed him in earlier. Would have had Adrenal would have been if he hadn't over in that corner. He'd have been uh, Pushing past Leo, I think, to P3. I reckon you're probably right there. Because he lost a good, like, six or so seconds. Yeah. So I, re I reckon he'd be somewhere near the game or just ahead of him. The hair through turn 15, oh, side by side. Renault alongside Bird taking the outside line through turn 16. Bird surrenders the position, doesn't fight it, knows his tyres aren't in the greatest of positions. So Renault goes up to fifth place. Now I know that we're waiting for Jerry for MCL to hit and all that because he's on the soft tyre. However, the gap between Jerry and MCL is close to 50, 50 to 40 heads. I know it's not oh. a big close, but it's a close nonetheless. Yeah, soon going to make that back when he puts them fresh softs off in the MCL. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like so is uh, close to blunt. Both on um, fresh-ish uh, tyres. Fresh-ish. Fresh-ish. Fresh on blood blade with also relatively fresh ish tyres and softs versus the mediums. And the softs look to have got a better drive. Here comes the softs on Exo's car, and the softs really do seem to have a better uh, grip than the mediums, although he's just run it's deep into wide, seven. Yeah. But he stays ahead. Almost oh, side by comes. side oh. through eight. Gary tries to get from Axel alongside, but not quite close enough. So Exo picks up 11th place. And uh, MCL oh, has paid for it. What's MCL done again? Pitted. Alright, didn't know. <laughs> Dorsey so Dorsey Dave. Dave. Two. Yeah. Off 24 lap old medium, so probably sticking a set of stops on. The gap between Jerry and Pastelay has come down to two seconds. We've got four and a half before. Oh, Adrenal's out. retired. And it's Where's a safety it? car. Wow, look at him there. Smashed up in the corner of... Is it corner three? Turn three. It's just on exit of turn three. Adrenal has left the session. On board currently with Dave. And he's just Watch there on the left-hand side, from just on the apex of turn four. Yeah. He's crashed out. Oh, that is a shame. It is. I, I thought John was doing well to have got one of his best races tonight. Unfortunately for him, but I he's he's very well, What sort of action do you think we'll see now, mate? 
Anybody who's not on a fresh set of tires will be competing for a fresh set of tires. Yeah, TCM Jerry is going to have his moment with MCL. MCL's gone in the pits again for yet another set of fresh softs. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this battle with TTM, Jerry and MCL. I really am. I think, I think we all are at this point because this could be brilliant. In comes TTM, Jerry, what's Castileo do? He comes into the pit lane as well. But MCL is going to keep the lead as he picks up the safety car shortly. TTM Jerry is keeping second. Pascaleo is going to stay well. in third place as well. Come for a good time for Bird, 31 lap all mediums. So Bird Perfect is going to keep his Bird. P4. Yeah, he'd have dropped at least P8, I think. So also look at Bird's tyres. I'm, I'm on board. Look at the blisters on Bird's tyres. They really do the pit Oh, well, everybody in the strap a brand new set of softs on. Who stopped out there? I think it was Dorsey Dave. Yeah, Dorsey Dave stopped out. Which, to be fair, it, it makes sense because the only because there's only going to be one lap's difference. Yeah. So it's not necessarily going to be a major, yeah. you know, pits. strategical blunder. Oh, but he's no. not going to have too much of a disadvantage. No, there's no... There's, what's a lap? What's a lap between friends, Casper? <laughs> Rookie license stays out. 12 lap old mediums. Now, we have seen Rookie pull off occasional passes. But Shannon staying out, out on 12 lap old mediums... I don't think that's going to work, Doug. You know what? Ev pretty much everybody else has pitted either this lap or the lap prior onto a brand yeah. new set of tyres. And we can just see Jerry right on the tail of MCL. This battle's going to be very interesting. Certainly is, mate. Certainly is. Ah, uh, say we thought we wanted this. Well, I did anyway. Um, oh, I think we. I think I. I did mention it before that it would have been brilliant to see it. Yeah, he did. He did. Especially considering, you know, he started fourth. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So somewhere around about that, uh, no, sixth even, because he was up fourth. Ah, right. Uh, Bird is up six. Uh, up six, started 11. Mitch started at the very back of the field. Up 10. Uh, Rookie is also up six. Exo is up two as well. Um, but, yeah. I'm, I was genuinely... Why is little Mitch, why is little Mitch pitted? Rookie's pitted. Now this is going to be very probably around about 10, 10 or so lap sprint dash to the line. This is going to be interesting. Who really has the pace? Quickly, mate. Go. Go quickly. Well, I just quickly mentioned that it is pretty difficult to keep the tyres in temperature around here. There's a lot of the um, tyres coming off the one off the other after the other after the other. It's not really much time for the tyres to relax. So they're getting the press. I get hot the tyres over here. Great. You don't want to obviously push too hard. So on lap 40 of 61, so I think that's for another lap. The big question is because of an incident. Adrenaline around the apex of turn 4 must have been too much throttle behind it. MCL from pole position. 
by almost a second. Stays in the lead because of that. Uh, Jerry being the second place after starting six really has saved me for the entire map. Asaleo being third, we're last time out. He's had his momentum going. Uh, Dave and Bird in fourth and fifth. Indo now has started the battle with him now in sixth. Always after a couple points of contact. Peter Field third in seventh. Shaggy in eighth. Probably a little bit better, so he's going to be. Restart. Um, and and around out I've just made an observation. What's your observation, right? Nothing to do with racing, but don't eyebrows grow quick? I don't know, I've never seen one. I'm, so, I'm positive, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that I trimmed my eyebrows last Tuesday, maybe, maybe Monday. I mean, they do me get. That is certainly something for me to research for later. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure I can answer that. I just couldn't do that. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Pascal has left the session, so you're going to be hoping that he comes back. Safety car is in this lap. So we're hoping he comes back relatively quickly. Just looking at the constructors, there's some good points being uh, gathered from Dips on slits, <laughs> Mitch and uh, Ricky, two, six, and seven. You have the little points there, the little point three. And there we are, gone. But we go green, green, green for the first time in this race. We've got to have a safety car for 50 laps, mind you. Spot one now, everybody's on the ground. We set our top man as we go around the side of the top one. MCL, cross the line, start that 50 again. And Steel and Rookie round out the pack. They head for the three. And I tell you what, Terry, uh, the option already pulled out a second and a half on past the really trying to get a good jump on the Mercedes. They head round turn uh, seven. Yeah, so he was. Uh, Pascaleo was uh, out, he'd lost his connection and he? he's just he's regained connection now. So he did he did go back just before uh, Bird uh, uh, MCL uh, set up. So it was the damage wasn't too bad. Right. Um, but yeah he did he did leave, he did come back. Yeah, a bit of a gap for little Mick and Exo, P9 and 10 over two seconds there, the gap. Third is close to Dorsey Dave and the gap between them seven TPMJ 1.9 seconds. Not, I'm not as excited now as I was. <laughs> I, I think, think we were all kind there. of excited for that one. Unnecessarily, it can Bird trying the inside the 16 but not able to pull that off. Stays in fifth place. Steel goes ahead of Blade, MCL fastest back, 134.892 on a brand new stock tyre. Constantly battling uh, here with these Shaggy guys. And Little Mick. Little Mick gets past Shaggy at turn one. And it looks like Shaggy's tyres are already going through some form of problems, or at least work at the moment. Yeah. Beard still got Percy Dave in vision. Oh. Drivers are constantly going to be setting their personal fastest laps because yeah. they are on low fuel and brand new soft tyres. They head round turn nine. Down to Andrew Road into 
Singapore into the Singapore sling. Obviously, used to be a three-part chicane, now just a simple left-hander and, and also a cocktail. Which is very nice. Obviously. Never had it. Have you not? Ooh, try now, it, mate. Don't know anywhere that offers Singapore. Oh. I'll tell you something. Perfect drink to round your night. Oh, if you haven't got wobbly legs before you had it, you will have it. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. On board with Bird as they head into turn 16. I'll tell you what, the gap between MCL and Jerry is still at two seconds. Yeah, DRS enabled. We DRS see Bird now. Back online. Probably going to pull him out of there. We've turned one, two, and three with Bird. Bird tries to get back towards the podium. I've not seen a little bear in uh, since Zandvoort. They head round turn six. Ooh. DRS working for the Williams man. And also, yeah. just the fact that he's in Williams, a good straight line speed for him. Yeah, nice move uh, from Albert. Round uh, 9, 50 second time of asking. Pastelay is slowly closing the gap between himself and Jerry. It's about 1.7, was two seconds about a lap ago. As Whoa, the... brilliant move for Dorsey Day. Wow. On the outside of 12 for the drive. And inside of 13, I think that's the best move I've seen today. But here and comes Bird it. trying to retaliate. And this is just going to bring Minden into the frames. I missed it. Blast. Watch it on my screen later. I've got it. You can see the time marks they head in. I'm just going to say 16. that. I'm just going yeah. to say that, Catherine. That's, there's some rubber there, mate, isn't there? I had a load of rubber there, mate. <coughs> that, is a, that is a lot of rubber. Here's an observation as well. Bird in P5. Three drives ahead of him for the tennis. That's very fair. Jerry's got six. Pataleo's got three. And Dorsey Dave has got three. I don't think he's necessarily going to be losing the position to Pataleo purely because Dave's only four and a half seconds behind. Dave Birds goes the over under side yeah, by side heading nice through swim. into turn oh, eight. Oh, Minden, where are you going? Minden's going to run wall. off. Oh, oh Minden. That's not a good race by hitting the wall. Not a way to do it. Um, I think he's only... He's only going to get in one position at the moment, and that is on Dorsey Day, regardless of what happened. Yeah. So I'm not sure if there's a podium on the cards for him, unless he can overtake Dave and run like a madman, at least to get at least another three seconds on the top two. True, true, top three. Brandon Green. Bird's trying to incessantly get past the Alpine, round that 17 gap. and 18 and 19. Here's the view from Bird's car, from Dave's car even, on the front end of Bird closing up, heading into turns one and three. Yeah, that gap between Dale and Dave and Pasolo is growing. It is at six seconds, so at the moment, Bird would still only gain one position. One position is still an extra point, and extra points are vital, especially for their team. Ooh, Here comes Bird. Nice move Whoa. from Bird. Almost forced him to the wall there by Dave. They kissed that move. Done. And now he's got to try and chase after and pass away. Yeah, Bump Blade's just passed Exo, and now he thought Jerk Steele was going to pass Exo as well. Sorry, I missed that move again. That's two moves from Lump that I've missed. To steal his we Got Axel in his sight, so a uh, little Mick is all over the back of Wallace too. Good 
something yeah, for you guys on board with Will Mick the American as he heads into turn 14. Well, this, this is the apex around that corner. Could he get a move into turn 16? Doesn't look to be quite close to head down Raffles Avenue on the purpose built section Minden. over the rubbers by Julian Buck. Looking back and to Minden. Minden. Oh, sorry. Oh. He's lost, he's lost a little bit of time there, but it took CRS on both days. Can Dave make the position back? I don't think Bird's going to be able to get on the podium at this point in time, but again, anything can happen. This is ERC where anything and everything almost always does happen. As they head through Raffles Boulevard on board with Dave as he tries to close up into turn seven doesn't quite get the move done so Bird stays ahead and do I see Dave's petrol light is flashing a little bit there as well as Shaggy picks up three seconds <laughs> 55 of 61 laps in the books and at the moment it is still over two and a half seconds between the top two yeah we're going to try and catch up to at least get close to make use of any additional penalties that, that are going to be for uh, jerry and Astley. and jerry is probably not going to be the second that has to pull out another second on pastelaya which regardless is still a stellar performance yeah, I'm just in the Discord actually, uh, Casper, and um, mm, message from Epic Frenchie. I had to retire, got a cramp in my thumb that put me in the wall down the escape road. Unfortunate oh. cramp. Get some tonic water down here. That was unfortunate, Frenchie. Oh. Well, so, sorry sorry to hear that. Yeah. 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 Shaggy Shaggy some tonic water. Great believer in tonic water, I am, particularly with gin. I feel, I, you know, you know what? I feel, I feel that helps as well. <laughs> no, I, when I was saying, um, oh, and look, Mick's just making a move on Wallace. Yep, makes it stick. Mick, um, Mick sticks it into six. Yeah, and Bloodblade's got past Shaggy. Move the ninth place. They're still the side by side further back. As well. And there's an opportunity for Steele to make another position as well, but it's not quite close enough. Doing the battle hit towards the back end of the field, as they usually always is. Yeah. Two Aston Martins and a McLaren. Yes, you were saying something about Jim. Probably. No, Tonic, actually. <laughs> well, I was uh, in my footballing days, um, I was really, really held by cramps later on after 60, 70 minutes of the game. Cramp, no matter how fit I'd get, cramp would be a big factor. And uh, I went to see a specialist at um, Reezy College, and uh, he told me to take tonic water. Two weeks after I'd been on um, a litre of tonic water a day, it started lasting 90 minutes without cramp. So, big believer, big believer. I might have spoken to tonic water myself. Good blade now, all the back of Minden. Mercedes V Red Bull. That's a battle that's, well, pretty current. Yeah, and I hope to see. All the actions behind these as well with Exo Shaggy and Steel. So it's hotting up with four or five laps to go. And so we could get laps, laps to go. First yeah. and second is increased to three seconds. Dorsey Dave, third, yeah. and Little Mick. The gap between Pastaleo and Jerry crucially is increased to three seconds. Well, that means should the checker flag go now, Jerry's going to retain his uh, second place by about two tenths of a second. Yeah, Granted. that gap's, gap, gap's not coming down between Bird and Pastaleo either. 
the gap between Blunt Blade and Linden is minuscule as they head into it is turn minuscule. 16. Ooh. Ooh. Thought he was going to go around the outside. That would have been a brave move, but there wasn't even a good at the end for him. Dorsey Dave on round. Bird. Oh, no. Just puts him off there, Bird. Defends well. But Dorsey Dave, Little Mick and Bird are close, as is Blunt Blade and Linden. You don't know where to look now. You really do. We'll look back towards this battle Exo here. Shaggy. Wow. Steel. Five, six cars there. Ricky License also joining in for the minor placings. As six we see, a little Mick shot. Mick's made two positions because Bird's Dorsey gone and crashed, crashed. Dorsey Dave has crashed as well as Bird. And it's so a safety car. Wow, safety car is... Oh, wow, Wallace up to P5, let Mick up to P4, Minden up to P6. After that, Dorsey, Dave and Bird moment. Didn't catch what happened. Rubley gets a time penalty for ignoring the yellow flag. A couple of penalties out for a yellow flag infringements. As MCL, what's happened with MCL? MCL's down to P3. Why? I'm not sure. Must have run off somewhere. Must have done. So that puts TT and Jerry in P1. That puts at the moment, which no, it won't be. I think MCL's still going to give the win because penalties. Yeah, true, true, bad the and they all... I think Jerry might even get the win on the road. So nobody's pitting as yet. I'm down to Wallace. Wallace doesn't pit. Linden is coming up to pit now. Because he... I don't imagine anybody's going to pit really. Yeah, they are. We've got Bird. Well, I like it. Bird pit. And that is Exo going in the pits as well. But, well, Dave's on his way as well. Dave's got a little bit of a wing. Have you seen it, Casper? He's yeah, got a, he's li a little. Yeah, he's what got would a you call little... that? A dwarf wing. Dwarf? That's perfectly average. And, and you know what, he's put left on. Yes, it has. You're right, it has. Yeah. 13 lap holders. Punching. That could be the contact, actually, that uh, punched that, yeah, might it? To be fair, it probably was. You remember those... I'll, I'll tell you what that was that reminded me of. You know, do you remember, I think it was around about 2014? When the um, when those that set of regulations came in, and they essentially had little I'm going to call it as it was little dildos on the front wing. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it looked like. <laughs> right then, safety cars in this lap. Exos 27 seconds down. Bird and Dorsey Dave. There's going to be some low points for them three. As Can't we see get them set to go green, green, green for the second time in and this race. Jerry leads a safety car restart for the first time in ERC. And the first time in Singapore. It's a good time to do it. He needs to try and pull there six seconds in two laps. It's going to be very difficult to do. Lap 60 of 61. We're going to green, green, green. And he's put out a little bit of a gap to nowhere near enough. Uh, Royce tries to move on a little bit. Not quite able to do so. So Jerry stays in the lead, but again, I don't think he's going to be able to pull out enough of the gap to retain his first place on the road. MCL. But miracles can happen, we've seen them happen. We certainly have, uh, mate. MCL's getting held up from Pastaleo. That he really is, he's probably the only one person... Two. I, I thought Boris was going to be able to make a move on the inside of turn seven on Mick, but he's not quite able to do so, so it is still Jerry. He pulled out the second, which, you know, he's pulling it out. He's but trying. Again, no he's way trying. He's, he's, he's trying. The fair thing is trying, but not Exo's trying. Put, Exo's really put mediums off. But we have no ties left to use. Right. <coughs> As we see, MCL really pushed to try and at least get maybe even 
second on the road. But he doesn't need to be, because as long as he can stay within three seconds of pass away, he'll be guaranteed second and most likely, let's be honest, guaranteed first place. Steele's yes. dropped a couple of positions. He has, yeah. He must have made a mistake there. As we head back to the top of the field, there's a possibility for Pasolo to take the lead into 16. Not quite close enough. Jerry's losing a little bit of time. He's losing a little bit of confidence as they head around the final couple of corners to start the final lap in this race. Jerry still leads. He's got a six-second penalty he has to bear in mind. So he's probably not going to win this once that's factored in. So it looks to be an NCL win unless he has some sort of problem, which let's not get it wrong could still happen, we've still got five kilometers left to run. Yeah, it also puts little Mick and Wallace on the uh, podium, if things stay as they are. Wow. That could but, be very interesting. Yeah, um, I was just going to say something, I can't remember what it was. Pastaleo, he's going he's going to try and get a second win into, in, you know, inside a week, because we won last week, if we remember. He did, but again, he's got three seconds of penalty. He's yeah, oh, he's still really. Field's got another three second time penalty for multiple warnings. That puts him to six seconds, but that's not going to really drop him down the position because Bird's 20 seconds down. And we look onto this lead battle. Can Jerry do anything to at least flat a little bit more of a gap to keep a few more positions? Pasolero is right on his tail as they head down the straight, heading into turn 14. Not quite close enough to make a move, but turn 16 is really the only possible overtaking opportunity. Oh. Wallace has gone wide and Mindy's took him for P5, but still good points for Dix on slicks. Still good points for Dix on slicks with fifth and sixth, but as they head into turn 16 and 17 for the final time in this race, Jerry has had an absolutely stellar debut. Penalties are not going to keep him on the front. Jerry wins go. on the road. What's going to happen when the penalties are back in? NCL wins the race. Nick is in second and past Leo retains a podium position, stays in third. Jerry is in fifth, 17 thousandths of a second behind Wallace in fourth place. Uh, it's a double top 10, rookie in sixth, Minden in seventh. That's a good uh, finishing position for them pair. Um, and that's about it. Good, an episode downfield. Final results. And well, then. here they come. Jerry in fifth place. Penalties were factored in. What's the driver of the day, Minden? Would you agree? I would. But do you know who I'm going to give it to? I think I know who you're going to give it to, but surprise me. Rookie. Oh. Okay. You you were expecting to say uh thingy, weren't you? Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm, I'm I'm gonna say Jerry anyway. Well I'm, I'll I'll being as rookie starting at the back, two racing points, that's my excuse for rookie, but Jerry, yeah, he's uh, debutant tonight, rookie rookie rookie. He's debuted tonight, saw him pass a post first. Unfortunately, he picked up points, but we'll go for a shared drive of the day, shall we? With yeah, Jerry and we'll, Rookie. We'll share it. We'll share it. Yeah. Final standings are on your screen right now. MCL wins two out of two here in Singapore. Can he make it three out of three? Be sure to tune in on International Paddock for the Sunday race. Uh, we will be back next week, uh, the pair of us, at into Lagos. We will. Uh, so be sure to tune in for that. In the meantime, it's a goodbye from Mike. And it's a goodbye. Good blah, 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 and it's a good night from me. And it's a good night from Casper. And it's a good night from me as well. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you all next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Night night. God bless.